Hello and welcome back to our free online course for live streaming and video production graphics from StreamGeeks. In this video, we're going to learn how to use a virtual webcam input. And what this will allow you to do is to take your camera feed and overlay graphics on top of it and then send it to any software that uses a webcam. So instead of sending your webcam directly to software like Zoom, Microsoft Teams, GoToMeeting, or Skype, we can actually use it with the video production software in the middle, such as OBS, vMix, Wirecast, or New Blue FX Present, and then we can take the webcam and overlay graphics and all kinds of video production polish and pizzazz, if you will, and then send the virtual webcam coming from that software to Zoom, OBS, or any video production software or, or cloud-based real-time communication software. So let's take a look. Hey everybody, if you're watching this video on YouTube, I just wanted to remind you to hit the red subscribe button. It really helps us out and encourages us to keep making video courses like this. So hit the like button and hit the red subscribe button. Thanks. So what we're gonna do in this tutorial is we're gonna use all free software. So if you're just getting started, we are going to use OBS. OBS can be found at Open Broadcast, it's called Open Broadcaster Software, and it can be found at obsproject.com, and you can download it for Windows, you can download it for Mac, you can download it for Linux, totally free. We're also gonna use a free software called Pixlr, and Pixlr is a totally free software that's kind of like Photoshop in the cloud. And if you've never used it before, it's a great tool. You don't have to load Photoshop to do a bunch of stuff. And we're gonna use Pixlr to create a lower third file. Just a simple graphic to get us started. So I'm here at Pixlr, totally free. I'm gonna hit create new, and I'm gonna start with a lower third. And this is gonna be a PNG file, which is gonna be a transparent file that will import into OBS and use for our lower third. And uh, there you go, we'll go ahead and hit create. And there's a whole bunch of tools on the left-hand side here that's very much similar to Photoshop or if you've used a photo editing software, very similar. And what we're gonna do is we are going to click the rectangle and I like to do a rounded rectangle here and go ahead and create a box that will be where we're gonna put our information. This is where we're gonna put our lower third. Now, I have some colors for the Stream Geeks brand that I'm gonna use for this. So if you have a different brand or different colors, you can go ahead and pop these in here. This is kind of a nice dark color that we like to use as a backdrop. I'm gonna squeeze it a little, make it a little thinner, a little smaller, okay. I'm gonna make the rounded edges just a little rounder. There we go. And then I am gonna drop an outline on here, a nice little white outline and a nice little shadow, and boom, it's looking good. That's a nice lower third, take a little bit off the edges there. On the graphic, and a little bit off of the outline. There, looking good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this file as a PNG, and I'm gonna save it as a lower third PNG. And what I'll be able to do is start totally fresh in OBS because I want to show you guys how OBS works if you've never seen it before. So in OBS, the bottom left hand side are the scenes. So what we're going to do is we're going to have one scene. It's always good, good uh, practice to name your scenes. We'll call this scene webcam with lower third. And then we'll create one more scene, which is webcam without lower third. So we can kind of show it and hide it. You'll see this in a moment here. In the sources area in OBS, this is where you can add your camera. So I'm gonna use an NDI source for my camera because I have a Huddlecam HD PTC camera here that we we'll use as our backdrop and we'll add that into both spaces. So we'll add existing, we'll add, add this into both. And then all we gotta do is add our image, which is our Lower third, I always like to label these, lower third PNG. And we're gonna go ahead and add the lower third PNG here. 
boom, there we go. That's our lower third. Now, OBS and most video production software support something called a studio mode or the ability to have an, a preview and an output. So the left-hand side is preview, the right-hand side is the output. So that's, you can see how one side has the lower third, one side doesn't. So let's go to the side with the lower third and let's add some text. So we'll call this text, that's fine. We'll say, um, you know what we'll call this? We will call this Stream Geeks Live Video Production Course, Live Video Production Graphics Course. And we have a whole lot of stuff we can do here, um, but the color of white is good. We gotta just uh, make this a little smaller. So let's go ahead and make it smaller so we can fit this in. And later on in the course, we'll learn how to bring in live information, like maybe the date, time, things like that. But this is a very basic lower third. So we've got a lower third. Now we could do a lot more with this, right? We could bring in another image. We could bring in a logo file. There's a lot we can animate this with uh, multiple plugins, and we'll talk about that in the future. But right now, for the first video, boom, we've got a lower third. What I really want to show you guys is how to get this lower third into OBS, or sorry, into Zoom, because that's a big deal. So if we go ahead and open Zoom, okay, here is Zoom. One of the things we'll see here is that we have an OBS virtual camera as an option. And in OBS, in the bottom right, there is a start virtual camera button. Once that button is hit, boom, we have got our camera. Now I can already see that it needs to be mirrored. Let's turn that off. And now anything we put in OBS, anything we do in OBS will happen inside of Zoom. And this is basically what I wanted to show you guys because this is a real-time communication software and we're adding a lower third. Now we're gonna take it a lot further in this course, but I want you to be able to see how a virtual camera works. So instead of choosing my actual webcam as my camera, I have chosen a virtual webcam. I have using OBS, but in the future we'll be using Wirecast and vMix and New Blue FX as we progress into this overview online course and show you a lot of different options. We have shown how to quickly and easily add a lower third for free. We created a branded colored lower third. We used all free software and we brought it into OBS. So that is what we wanted to show today. In our upcoming videos, we'll be showing how to integrate more graphics and overlays into your productions. We'll be taking things a lot further. We'll be getting you a free trial of New Blue FX so you can see how awesome that software is. And we will be kind of digging deeper and deeper into creating content for videos, for live streams, for engaging great content. So hopefully this was helpful and eye-opening. I can't wait to see you in the next video.